She always say, Esto, ma petite pomme frite. How would we get by without you? You are the Grand Prix of Café Corge. Will I get my lunch this century? Pronto, signorina. That pickles? How would we get by without him? Two sacks of potatoes. Shh, madame. <laughs> he will get an egg as big as a barrel of gherkins. <laughs> and one box of bananas. Red boxes of bananas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. And a bonny day to you. Your groceries are out the back, Chef Goulash. Someone here must be bananas about bananas. So are crowned and frank and fat as piggies. <laughs> Can you explain why Chef Goulash is now the proud owner of an entire plantation of bananas? I ordered one. Hundred boxes of bananas? There must be some mistake. Yes, yours, dumb blink headed and noodle. Uh, I'll fix it. I'll invent a new recipe for bananas. You have exactly 30 minutes, that is all. Banana pizza, banana lasagna, banana burgers, <laughs> boiled bananas, battered bananas, baked bananas, baked bananas! Banana bits in a buttered baking dish. Now what? Bananas baked with sardines? Nah. Bananas baked with baked beans? I'll just stand on this bag of coconut. Bananas baked in coconut. Now something for flavour. Bananas baked with coconut and mustard. <laughs> This isn't mustard. I'll just have to use brown sugar instead. <laughs> now, something to make the bananas saucy. Tomato sauce. <laughs> Orange juice. Oh, it's too late to start again. A few blobs of butter and into the oven. This is the very last time I cook anything here. What is that smell? Yes, what is that smell? It smells delicious. Divine. Delicious? Divine? Delectable. Pesto, tonight's dessert special is... Pickles, coconut, caramel, banana bake, served over my special vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Our customers, they will never order that. Five serves of banana bake for table six, and six serves for table eight. It is the Eiffel Tower of dessert, simplement for table four. It is all gone. Just as well you ordered all those bananas, boss. <gasps> merci, merci. Pesto, pronto, bananas. They go bananas for the banana pig. Oh, they want the banana pig. But they make some more for goodness sake. Hey. Pesto, oh. more bananas. <laughs> Pesto, pronto. Your desserts. Better make some more for goodness sake.
alley cat, I'm an alley cat. I think real good that when I think what. Alley cat, I'm an alley cat. I get so hungry that I'll never get fat. So, this is my plan, Pesto. We find the worst singer in the world, right? We tell Madame Courgette that he's the best singer in the world. We invite Skip. all the bigwigs and top cats to a huge concert in the cafe. Now begins. I, the great chef Goulash, am going to create a new dessert. The melon-faced fun fruit. The melon fun fruit... melon fruit face. Rock melon. <laughs> Then, when everyone hears how a terrible a singer is, they'll think how a silly Madame Courgette is, and never come back to the cafe, and then it will close, and... Hey! Then I have no job! Nah, nah, you'll have a job. You'll be boss. Me? The boss? Madame Courgette will be ruined. Then she'll have to sell the cafe to me. <laughs> me? The boss? At the last! I slice the melon down the middle. He slices the melon down the middle? Big spoon. Big spoon. I scoop out the seeds. He scoops out the seeds. Bin. Bin. Whipped cream. Whipped cream. No. Whipped cream. Oops. Whipped cream. I fill up the hole with whipped cream, then I spread the cream. He fills up the hole with whipped cream, then spreads the cream. Cherries and raisins? He cherries and raisins. No. <laughs> no, oh, it's no good. I am an inept, inane, inadequate idiot. He's an inept, inane. <laughs> All I need for the melon face fun fruit is an inspiration. Where, where can I find the right face? Where, oh, where can I find a singer bad enough? <laughs> Leftover. <laughs> <laughs> The best singer in the world? The very best, uh, madame. He's heard of your fabulous cafe, Madame Courgette. Oh, oh, oh. And he'll do the concerto for free. Free? Who oh, is the singer? Uh, it's a, it's big a big secret. secret. Yeah. Oh, I love big secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Courgette wants me to sing? There's just one little thing left over. One little thing. You gotta wear this bag on your head. It's uh, just until uh, you start to sing. You see, it's a big surprise. A big, a big surprise. <laughs> How terribly, terribly clever of Madame Cochette. Mystery singer. Signori e signora, Cafe Corgetti is proud to present the mystery singer. <laughs> Look at what Madame Corgetti has done. She's a tried to fool you. <gasps> <laughs> Madame Cochette, he's brilliant. He's so new. Oh, oh no! no. My marvelous, magnificent new masterpiece. The leftover special. Cochette, you've done it again. <laughs> Everybody thing. Alley cat, I'm an alley cat, yeah. No, 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 stop! And now! <laughs> Be quiet! Watch that cat, cats are cooking. He is high and loud and wild. Watch that cat, cats are looking. Mighty fine and wild. Don't stop, no. Always the best that can cafe go shit. Watch that This place, Pecan's Van, no? Yes, madam. No, Pesto. What? They like fittings. What about them? You will bring them down. From up there? Oui. 
and oh. please will wash them. Ah. Go on, up the ladder. But, madam, no, I'm afraid of heights. Yes, scaredy rabbit. Oh. Quick, quick. Oh, I'm going to fall. I'm losing my grip. Oh. Well, it was higher than it looked. Milk, vanilla ice cream, egg, banana flavored yogurt, ice cubes, honey, and banana. Now, remarkably reinvigorating, refreshing banana milkshakes. Madame Couscous, Monsieur Fennel. Madame, Madame Couchette. Two cups of tea, please. Pesto! Two cups of tea for our guests, s'il vous plaît. Now? You mean now? Oui, immediately. I don't believe anything. Oh! <laughs> that was a close. Now, pour milk into the blender, peel the banana and slice it, add one tablespoon of honey, one egg, two tablespoons of yogurt, two scoops of ice cream, and ice. <gasps> Yum. I don't believe why I'm happy to do this. There's your tea. Happy? Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, I hate going up this ladder. I don't. It's stupid, though. Huh? It's uh, the fishbowl. I've climbed all the way up here with the fishbowl. And it's uh, so high. <laughs> Ah, who will know the difference? <laughs> I'm so naughty, I even make myself a laugh. Everybody, some nice cold banana milkshake. My daddy! Great! <laughs> 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 My darling fishy Moby has been fishnapped! Fishnapped? I, Fennel, the world's greatest detective, will solve this foul crime. Moby's not a foul, he's a fish. What's that? That, my dear boy, is my electronically digitized trained eye. Wow! With the latest in crime technology and gadgets and stuff, the fish snapper will have no chance. You seem to be hiding something. Estelle? Me? You. Please hurry, Mr. Fennel. You. Ah! Have you taken Madame Couscous's fishy out of this cafe? No. That is correct. Have you eaten Madame Couscous's fishy? Hmm. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> no. True. Ah, oh, he's telling the truth. Of course! Everybody knows a pest don't never does anything naughty. Warning! Warning. Quiet! Alarm. Sorry, Madame Couscous. I can do no more. I'll send you my bill. Goodbye. I'll go now. While you're all having fun, laughing, eating in the cafe, I'll be home all alone without my darling Moby. <laughs> Poor thing. Zer, zer, Couscous. Pesto? We must open up the cafe for dinner now. Goulash into the kitchen. Pickles, turn on the lights. I will see Couscous home. Moby! Wow! Oh, wow. No. Oh, 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 he's on the ceiling. Voilà, c'est le poisson. Up there. Pesto, more banana milkshakes. I make it snappy. It's not fair, you know. I work very hard here, and I do one thing wrong. One little slip, but that's it. After it, no. <laughs> <laughs> Pesto, my beautiful nephew, that's a wonderful. He's like my own bambino, a real fish and the chip of the old block. So, little Pesto, 
Now you've got the job. You know what to do. See, Chef Keeper, steal Chef Goulash's secret recipe book. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Pesto? <laughs> Little Pesto! Eh, Madame Courgette, Chef Goulash, Pickles! Isn't he bellissimo? Buongiorno. What a sweet boy! Answer, answer. Let me do that. <laughs> See, Pickles, maybe Little Pesto can teach you something. That's uh, my boy. <laughs> now, boys, I'm going to teach you how to make my wonderfully, wizardly, world-beating, world-topping, world-famous toasted cheese plus. Toasted cheese plus? Can I help? What a good boy. Isn't he a good boy, Pickel? <laughs> For this extra special Marvel, I must get my secret recipe book. <laughs> no one's there? No one's there. No. But Chef Goulash, you've never shown anyone but me where the secret recipe book is. Oh, it's okay. Little Pesto is my new friend. One, two, three, four, five. My secret recipe book. See, we butter the bread on the outside. We put the cheese on, slice the tomatoes into teensy pieces, put on the second piece of bread on top, and into the frank pan. We put the lid over the sandwich while we cook it. That way we keep all the goodness inside. Perfect. Yes, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Little pesto is so fine. How I wish that he were mine. He makes me laugh like I've been tickled. He's much, 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 much better than pickles. <laughs> Would you open the safe for me and get out my secret recipe book? Yes, sir. <gasps> Something wrong? Your secret recipe book's gone. Oh, really? Someone must have snuck in last night and stolen it. I wonder who. It must have been Little Pesto. We followed the recipe exactly, Chef Keeper. Good! We'll be rich! <laughs> Perhaps you'd better lock this away. But I don't understand. I made an extra copy of my secret recipe book for Little Pesto. Instead of little slices of tomato, <laughs> little slices of red hot chili peppers. Oh. <laughs> or, or how would you like salt on your bananas instead of sugar? <laughs> After all, the world's greatest chef must have the world's greatest assistant. Right? Right. I'm the world's nicest little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.